hello guys and welcome back to this channel in today's video we are going to solve interscience wasi questions on electrical energy now if you are new here consider subscribing to this channel do well to like this video and share this video to your friends so our first question we are going to solve sse 1995 question 2c ii three cells each of emf two volt and negligible internal resistance 2 ohms and 6 ohms and a key now we are to draw a circuit diagram for the above information that is alpha and then for beta we are to calculate the current in the circuit when the key is closed now to solve this question first of all let's write down the information that we derive from the question now we are told from the question that we have three cells, each of EMF two volts. So three cells, two volts each. We have negligible internal resistance, so we are not going to consider that. Now we have two resistors, two ohms and then six ohm resistors. So let's say R1 equals 2 ohms and then R2 equals 6 ohms we also have a key now for beta we are to calculate the current in the circuit when the key is closed so in that sense we can add an ammeter to the list now this ammeter is basically going to measure the current that flows through the circuit it has no significant effect on the circuit so we can just add that so this is the symbol for an ammeter now let's draw the circuit diagram for the information above so we have three cells connected in series each of two volts EMF so the longer side is the positive terminal the shorter side is the negative terminal of the voltage source now the voltage source is connected to the ammeter and then we also have it connected to the two resistors now the two resistors are connected in series so we have it connected one after the other so this is two ohms this is six ohms and then also we have the key Now because the three cells are connected in series, we can find the total EMF, that is VT, and that is equal to the sum of the values of the three cells. So 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6. So we have the sum of EMF or the total voltage to be 6 volts. So this is the circuit diagram for the information obtained above. So let's find the current in the circuit when the key is closed. Now to find the current, we are going to use Ohm's law. According to Ohm's law, we know that V is equal to I times R. Now we know the value for V, which is 6 volts. We have two resistors R1 and R2 being 2 ohms and then 6 ohms respectively. So to find I, we need to find the total resistance. Now because the two resistors are connected in series, the total resistance is given by RT equals R1 plus R2. R1 is 2 ohms, R2 is 6 ohms. So basically to find RT, we are going to add the two resistor values. So 2 plus 6 is equal to 8 ohms so we have RT which is the total resistance to be 8 ohms now how do we know that two resistors are connected in series 
two resistors are connected in series where you have the same current flowing through them. So you realize that the current leaves the positive terminal of the voltage source through the wire and then at this point the current flows through the 2 ohm resistor and then that same current flows through the 6 ohm resistor. Now because we have the same current flowing through the two resistors, we say that these two resistors are connected in series. So we have RT to be 8 ohms. Now since we want to find I, we have I equals VT divided by RT. VT is 6 volts and then RT is 8 ohms. Now 6 divided by 8 is 0 0.75 and then current is measured in amperes. So we have I to be 0 0.75 amperes. Now let's solve the second question. So for the second question, we are going to solve SSCE 1996 question 2C. We are to calculate the current I in the circuit below. Now in this circuit, we have a 3 volt voltage source, we have 2 resistors, 2 ohms resistor, and then 4 ohms resistor. And then we have the current I flowing through the circuit, we also have the key. Now when we close the circuit, current is going to flow. So let's find the current I in the circuit. To find the current flowing through the circuit, we need to find the total resistance for the circuit. Now according to Ohm's law, we know that V is equal to I times R. We know the value for V, which is 3 volts. We need to find the value for R so that we can find I, which is the current flowing through the circuit. We have two resistors, so let's say R1 equals 2 ohms and then R2 equals 4 ohms. Now these two resistors are connected in parallel. They are connected in parallel because we have current flowing through the positive terminal of the voltage source. Now this current is going to flow through the wire and at this point the current is going to divide. So we have part of the current flowing through this direction and the other part also flowing through this direction through the two resistors 2 ohms and then 4 ohms respectively. Now because we have a different current flowing through the two resistors it means that they are connected in parallel. Now the total resistance for resistors connected in parallel is given by 1 over RT equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. So we have 1 over RT equals 1 over R1 is 2 and then R2 is 4. So when we find the LCM, the LCM is 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2, 2 times 1 is 2, 4 divided by 1 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1. So this is equal to 3 over 4. So we have 1 over RT equals 3 over 4. So we can cross multiply so that we have 3 RT equals 4. And then because we want to find the value of RT, we divide through by 3. And then we have RT to be equal to 4 over 3 ohms, which is equal to 1.33 ohms. So this is RT. So we can modify the formula. So we say VT equals I times RT. Now since we have the value for the voltage, we know the value for the total resistance, we can now find the current flowing through the circuit. So the current is given by VT over RT. So we have VT to be 3 volts and then RT to be 4 over 3. So this becomes 3 over 1 times 3 over 4 which is equal to 9 over 4. 9 over 4 is equal to 2.25 current is measured in amperes. So we have the total current or the current
flowing through the circuits. is 2.25 amperes so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in another video bye bye